Ladies and gentlemen, the following wrestling contest is a three-way dance scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. The person in this matchup that gets pinned or submits must leave Resistance Pro forever. Introducing the first participant from Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, back at Welcome to My Nightmare. This match doesn't look good for the loser, does it, partner? It certainly does not, see red And I'm trying to figure out here. First of all, I mean, while it, you're trying to figure it out, is the ref a participant? Or what if he gets beat? If beard? 450 hadn't already been unmasked, or I'm sorry, Matt Nix hadn't already been unmasked as... Uh, El Angel? I would have thought that was who that was, but I guess that is Drew Thomas. Again. A sanctioned referee with Resistance Pro. When did referees start wearing masks? Drew Thomas uh, certainly taking the spirit of this event. Wow, look at that. Oh! Double noggin knocker. Now, of course, any one of these men losing would be a terrible blow to them personally. And a resistance pro because they've all been fantastic competitors for us. Oh! Wow! Ashton Baton dove into the arms of his He Man, Eric St. Vaughn. Look at this. Very right now. Over the top. Oh, man! Right there into the front, the hot Carl section of the crowd. Go all three men. Uh oh, no. oh no. no. Here is a man for whom every day is Halloween, and I'm talking about the Cobra. Boom! Wow! Look at the fans' faces. Oh my god, they've never seen something like Incredulous. this. Incredulous. All in our pro. Well, you see the ugliest man alive in pro wrestling, and that's the Cobra. <laughs> I thought you would have made more of my comment. That for, for the Cobra, every day is Halloween, C Red. Now, all over, the most beautiful man in our pro, and I'm talking about Ashton Baton. I mean, and that's where we are right now. We've got the ugliest versus the prettiest. Oh, man. The short's a little bit too cut off to be at, uh, for him facing this angle. Wow. Guillotine. Oh. Big drop kick. Good head. In the mush. Don't think he's going to look at, yeah, well, I mean, this is a smart game plan. I, look at it. You've got the, we could call them body magic special forces. 
Body forces, y'all. I mean, right now, oh. <laughs> Referee Drew Thomas might want to remove that mask so he gets periphery back. Is that is that Drew Thomas? I'm 87% sure, C Red. I'm still trying to figure out. Oh man. Why the kick pads? Just well, he's dressed as a wrestler. Just things to think. Oh man, what a double suplex there! And I would venture to say that a lot of people that dress up and play wrestler wear kick pads. I think we're gonna ask that nobody have Ashton, as much as I love him, bend down right in front of us. <laughs> Just like I said before, those shorts are a little bit too cut off for him to have uh, ended up in our part of town, if you will. But I think this, again, back to the Look match, I think this is just beautiful. Both of these guys have figured out, right? As long as they're not going after each other and they go after the Cobra, it doesn't matter really who wins, right? That's the smartest one of them thing they can do. The, they get the win. Look at this. Oh, oh man. In the lower gone. abdomen Think about of the it. Cobra. He would be gone from all pro, and you've got to admit that the Cobra, for a few months, has been given opportunity after opportunity in things that most people. Barry Wright going back to the well here. Oh, oh. man. Getting that double axe handle. Well, pun intended for Ashton Baton, the lumberjack. Double well, axe handle right in the heart there. That ended dead team work, huh? Indeed, but see, Red, that would have been a smart, a smart way to handle this. I mean, if these two men had been able to, wow, just forge an alliance long enough to pin one man, we're talking about eliminating somebody, and the match would have been over. The two men's jobs would have been saved, but uh, apparently there's more than that, more pride than that for uh, the male model. Now. Is Eric St. Vaughn trying to beat up the Cobra with a balloon sword? I wouldn't put it past him, C-Red, but oh. I missed it. As I was watching Ashton Baton, the male model, tell the crowd that he is the best. Look at this aggressiveness, though. Ooh. Can't quite get the suplex there. Cobra hanging him up on the ropes. Uh-oh. Forearm. Oh, oh, man! Barry Wright with another huge impact, but that first one. One, two. Again. Barry looked like he tried to put him to sleep. It looked like for a moment he was trying to pull the head off the Cobra, so to speak. Barry Wright, very frustrated, bringing him out to, uh, to his seconds, and I'm talking about the Colonel. Now look at the Colonel with that riding crop wrapped around the back of the head of the Cobra. And Ashton has not moved. Oh my God. The mush, literally. What an impact. Wow. Got that face smashed onto the ring apron. Oh, now this is the time where again, Barry's gotten smart. Okay, maybe he can't pin him, but make him, maybe he can make him submit. Maybe he can make him tap out. One of these men has to win. And one of these men has to leave. That's right. So, loser leaves our pro in this case. And if uh, Ashton Baton gets counted out, he might leave that way. But the two men in the ring now battling to make this happen. The Muay Thai Warrior now. Oh! Wow, double stomp. Bringing him down. And here's Ashton Baton back on the ring apron to break up the pin. And, oh, oh man. Throw him right into the post. Slamming the Cobra's head in the post. Oh man. And now slamming Barry Wright's head in the bottom turnbuckle. <laughs> Shoving match has broken down between these two men now. Are we back in high school? What is this? I uh, mean, really, they might even put it this. Oh. Wow! Double drop kick to the heart of each gentleman. And look at this, Eric St. Vaughn wanted to take matters in his own hands. Cobra not having it though. Big fist taking down Barry Wright, another big one for Ashton Baton. 
Here comes Cobra. Oh, wow. wow. Why would he want to knock people's teeth out and make them look <laughs> like him for Halloween? Yes. I, I don't know. It's uh, like the Headless Horseman just looking for a head. Maybe the Cobra's looking for some teeth. But wow. Could that be it? Could we be seeing the end of Ash? Once again, Eric St. Vaughn being a bigger part of that pin breakup. Pulling the Cobra out. Now Barry Wright pulling the Cobra back in to this match. It's a tug of war over the Cobra. Right. Who, who, wouldn't you want rights to say you beat the ugliest man in our pro? <laughs> I mean, hey, I got rid of him. Yes. I would, uh, I would like the bragging rights to say I ended someone's career in our pro, I guess. Were I wrestling in this match? Look at this. Oh, man. Beautiful job in DDT. This could be it. It's got to be. One, two. Ah. Wow. I didn't even think Drew Thomas could believe that one. Only a two count. Again, I mean, L referee, maybe. I don't know if it's him or not, but right now, Barry is doing the number on the Cobra. What's he going for here? Push the Cobra all the way oh. to the top turnbuckle. Trying to knock out the one tooth he got left. Uh oh. Look at this. Got it locked. Cobra trying to fight out here with blows to the midsection. Shoves Barry right down. Cobra. Wow! Flying knee. To nearly. The mush. Again, nearly knocking Barry right oh, out of the right. ring. One, two, three. Wow. Barry Wright's gone. Go in this match by Pitbull. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Just when it looked like the Cobra might have got the pin. Eric St. Vine just comes in and pulls, pulls the Cobra out. And now, now they've got words. And down goes the Cobra. Body magic is in full effect. It's got to be devastating to, to the Special Forces. They are now down to one. Very right. Uh, I have the dubious task of informing you, it looks like, that that you uh, have been eliminated from Resistance Pro. Oh! That guy! He lost, right? Well, I'm afraid it was you. Maybe I can, or maybe he can. 